Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> okay, so I just thought this video up at the last minute because I'm trying to post more over here on my Peter Does Stuff channel. And so I'm sitting at the top of our staircase. We have like a little landing right here. And I think it was about a year ago, my husband, um, he bought this like cabinet. I'm gonna show it to you. And then we have different things on here. So you can see he built this cabinet and we have Boo and Tucker's pictures and then a uh, Schitt's Creek candle and then a candle of mine from Poor House Candle Company. You can still purchase it. And then this candle called Group Text, SHI Toot Talking, that I bought Alex because he's always in group text. This was my Aunt Kathy's. And then this picture that somebody did for me, and it's me and Boo and Tucker. And I also have a smaller version because somebody sent me a smaller version of the exact same picture. And so I have that next to my bed. So anyway, and then we have all of our little scent bird things in there because we pick those up and take those on trips. But I thought that I would do, and I have to tell you, like the shadows in here are horrible and all this kind of stuff. So I was going to just do a video showing you our sunglasses because we used to have our sunglasses like all over the place. And so a couple, I think this was like a year ago. Oh, this is kind of falling apart a little bit. I didn't realize that. Like a year ago, Alex um, put these drawers together and made them exclusively, oh, exclusively sunglass drawers, as you can see. So we have all of our sunglasses in here that we've had for like the last 14 years since we've been together. And so I wanted to show you because we are big, big, big sunglass people. Part of it for me is, you know, as a person that has struggled with my weight, there are certain things that like I love to buy like shoes and sunglasses because I, first of all, I love sunglasses and, um, you know, like you don't have to be, the sunglasses aren't dependent on a certain weight. And I don't love shopping for clothes because, you know, like I've lost some weight and I've kept it off, but you know, being heavier, it's like when you go to try on clothes, it's just, it, it's kind of makes you sad and whatever. And the other thing I like to, to buy are shoes. And I wanted to show you guys these shoes. I bought them last year for fall and I never worn them. And I'm actually, I know the lighting in here is horrible. I know it's yellow lighting. I don't have the ring light on and stuff like that. But, um, I'm actually going to wear them this fall because they're so different and so cool. And they're a limited edition Birkenstock. And I wanted to show you because you guys know that I love Birkenstocks. Currently wearing my gray plastic Birkenstocks. I have them like in every color. Um, I love the plastic Birkenstocks, but I also love the clogs. And so last year I bought these clogs right here. And I don't know if you can see them, but it's actually a Magritte painting. And... I don't, I think it's called the, the light, the lantern or the house or something like that. And so it's actually like trees and this is nighttime. And then if you look right here, there's like a lantern. Isn't that so cool? And I've never worn them. These are completely unworn. So I'm really excited about wearing them. I love to wear a little like different things. Like, um, just, you know, I love style and having fun with clothes and whatever. So, um, oh, little Boo Radley. Hi, honey. Do you want to say hello to everybody? He's just like laying over here on the floor and he's being such a good boy. He says, Daddy, I love helping you with videos. You do? Do you want to say hello to everybody? He says, hello, everybody. Say hi, every look at everybody in the camera, honey. You're such a gentle soul and you've been so good today. Haven't you? Yes. Underneath here, oops, I will show you that Alex bought one of these, and it's actually filled with sunglass cases in case we need extra sunglass cases. These are some sunglasses that he bought, I think, from like Sheen or something, and he bought them for a music festival. Um, there's no, I don't think there's any sunglasses in here, no, just cases. Oh, there are a couple sunglasses in here. What are these? Oh, these are all sunglasses that he like bought from like Sheen or someplace for music festivals. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, these are all of, like, sunglass cases and then some, like, cheaper sunglasses that I think he paid, like, 2 and $3 for. So, anyway, that's down here. And then, also, Alex's, this is his pool bag that he takes to the pool. And it is, I think it's a Scout. He loves that Scout brand. And then he's got, like, you know, his oils on the side over here and whatever. And then he's got, what is this, Sunbun Mineral Oil 30. And then he's got his little speaker. I 
love show and tells. Do you love show and tells? Back in the day when I first started watching YouTube, like what's in my bag videos and my favorites videos, those were always my favorites. Okay, so currently, the pair of sunglasses that I am wearing um, in like every day, this is, I feel like this is so out of focus. I can't tell if it is or not, but if it is, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I'll probably post it anyway. But anyway, um, several years ago, I got really obsessed with Key. It's spelled Q-U-A-Y, but it's pronounced Key and it's out of Australia. Um, uh, Key, uh, what do you call it, sunglasses. And I talked about them in a video and Key actually ended up sending us quite a few pairs of sunglasses, like a whole box. And I gave away a lot of them, and a lot of them we still have, but I bought quite a few as well. These are actually Alex's that I wear, and they're all black rims, and I love them. And so, I love a good aviator sunglass. With a trucker hat, aviator sunglasses look really good. So those are the sunglasses that I'm wearing right now. Um, we bought a couple pairs when we were in Las Vegas together the last time, which would have been a year ago on our anniversary. The other pair that I got when I was in Las Vegas are Christian Dior sunglasses. Very rarely do I spend tons of money on sunglasses, but I had been looking at these for a while and I really, really wanted them. So we went to the Christian Dior stop, shop and the woman was so nice and I tried them on. And I was like, ooh, I don't know. And I have to tell you, I am so happy that I bought these because I absolutely love them. And um, they're, aren't they so cute? And I very rarely go with like kind of like a Ray-Ban looking uh, Wayfarer kind of look, but you can see they say Christian Dior on the side and they're so cute. And every time that I wear these, people are always like, oh my God, I love those so much. And um, the case is super, uh, dur 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, it's a good case. Okay, so let's get into these. Alex has these Tom Ford sunglasses. I won't probably show you all of the sunglasses in here, but um, Alex has these Tom Ford sunglasses that he actually got for like doing like a sponsorship. And I love these sunglasses so much. I think they're beautiful. Um, but I don't very rarely, we don't very rarely, it looks like the, nope. I was gonna say it looked like the uh, earpieces were off. We very rarely like share sunglasses and stuff like that, but it's not like we can't if we don't, you know, want to. What are these? Oh, this is another pair that he got from, like, Sheen. So, Alex, like, does a lot of, like, clearance shopping or, like, Sheen shopping. And he also loves, um, ASOS is, like, one of his favorite brands. And he loves Zara. And he loves to look at, like, the clearance and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. Let's go in here and I am going to show you. Oh, I bought these on sale at Saks. So, I wanted a, oh, what's the, the name of the brand? I can't remember now. I have to open the, the sunglasses to look. I wanted a, oh shoot, why can't I remember what the coats are called? They're the puffy coats that look just like this. This is the sunglass case, isn't it? Uh, durable, that was the word I was looking for. Isn't this such a cool thing? Okay, do you guys know the coats that are like this and they're like $1,200? Well, I really wanted a coat, but that's a lot of money for a winter coat. So I ended up getting these sunglasses, um, which the, I wish I had my reading glasses on because, oh shoot, it starts with an M. I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, um, I bought these sunglasses and they were on sale at Saks and I love them and they are really comfortable and they really help me like with the, the sun in my eyes and stuff like that, which is what sunglasses are for, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, I was trying to show you guys some older ones. So we have tons of these pairs of these key, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're the Desi Perkins ones, but we have them like in every color and in every kind of like, these are smaller, we have the bigger ones. Do these still have the tag on them? Yeah, these still have the tag on them. We have them like in every size and every color and I love them. Um, I will say the one thing about key sunglasses that I don't love is that the nose protector or the nose thing, it falls off. And so, and they don't replace them. And so it, once the sunglasses like that happens, I probably actually have one in here like this. Are you trying to find your place to lay down? Once it happens, they're kind of done. Like at that point, like you can't, um, there's no other good sunglasses. What are these? Oh, here's another pair. These are Alex's. These are a pair of keys and they are tortoise shell. I felt like there was like a tag on it. These are tortoise shell. So those are cute. Yeah, finding your spot. Oh, so back in the day when Alex and I met, I wore exclusively Porsche Carrera sunglasses because my dad had worn them a lot in the 80s and I was very much into the whole vintage look. So recently, probably about a year ago, I don't know, maybe longer than that, I bought these off of Amazon and I have to tell you, I don't love them as much as I used to back in the day. 
But now that I've lost a little bit of weight, they don't look so bad. But when I was a lot heavier, I did not love how they looked. But they're super, super comfortable. Aren't they, Boo Radley? Yeah. What are you doing? You never, he never digs in the rug. Like, um, he digs in the bed and he digs some, I know, honey, what is it? Yeah. You having a good day? With your little tongue out. Oh, why can't I remember what this is called? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, so let me go through here and see. Alex loves these sunglasses so much. I think these are so funny. Hold on a second. He loves these big sunglasses. Are you ready? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm a movie star. He loves those, but I don't love those. Okay, so there's those. I do not keep everything like super, super nice. Alex does, he always has. Like, um, here's another pair of letter like that. Are these all key sunglasses? These are all, like every single one of these are key. Yeah, they're the Desi Perkins ones. Do, 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 do. Desi Perkins sunglasses. I mean, you guys, we have tons of these. I wanted to show you um, more Desi Perkins sunglasses. I wanted to show you some of my older sunglasses. What are these? These are fun. Okay. Oh, okay. So these are sunglasses that I bought. I think I bought them off of Amazon and they were, <laughs> I thought they were so cool. Hello! Ah! <laughs> they are not cool. Okay. And I don't think I've ever worn them and they were like $20 and they're super cheesy. Okay. So those are the sunglasses in this drawer. I wanted to show you, uh, when my mom passed away, I bought a pair of sunglasses. Oh, here, these are the older sunglasses that I really wanted to wear to her funeral because my mom loves sunglasses and she always wore big black sunglasses. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, these are funny. So somebody sent me these several years ago for like an Instagram thing. Aren't these so fun? I love these. I don't even know what brand they are. I can't see. I guess I should have brought my reading sunglasses up. Monkler, Monkler, that's what the coat is called. And that's, so the Monkler coats look just like this. So if anybody wants to send me one as a gift, I'm, jo I'm totally joking, but they're expensive as hell. So I got the sunglasses instead. These are my old Porsche Carrera sunglasses that I used to wear. These are like the sunglasses. So if you see old pictures of me, these are the ones that I always wore back in the day. So for my mom's funeral, I bought a pair of Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. My aunt said I could get any pair of sunglasses I want. Um, I went to Saks, they were two for one, and so I bought another pair. One pair I left somewhere and I lost them forever and I don't know where they went. This is the other pair that I used to wear all the time and I used to love them. They're a little bit smaller, there you can see, but aren't they cute? I haven't worn those in forever. God, that takes me back. Whoo, that's weird seeing those sunglasses. Does remind me of my mom a lot. Don't they be radley? Yes. Okay. And then we have, Alex and I went through a huge Ray-Ban phase. Oh, this is not them. So these are these wooden ones. I really liked wooden watches and wooden sunglasses for a while. These are called Yes Man. And this is... I really liked anything wooden. Do you guys, have you seen the wooden bow ties? I think those are so cool. I can't really pull off a bow tie. I don't know why, but they just don't look that great on me. Um, a caddis. Are these my sunglasses? No, these are more, <laughs> just a caddis. So this is a, so these caddis, um, which are reading glasses, but they also have sunglasses and I actually have a pair. They are, um, the, they're, uh, glasses cases which you have to buy separately they are made out of apple peels is that not so cool okay so when alex and i got married a friend of ours bought me these versace sunglasses for our wedding so i got these uh 11 years ago in las vegas very cool haven't worn them probably since then and then we went through kind of a phase. There's a lot of other stuff in here. I don't know what, um, like glitter and stuff. We went through a Ray-Ban phase. So um, the week of our wedding, I bought Alex a pair of Ray-Bans, like groom's gifts, you know? So I bought him a pair of Ray-Bans and I bought myself a pair of Ray-Bans. So these are the Ray-Bans that I used to wear, which are the, like the, I think it was like, 
other than the Porsche Carrera, it's like my very first pair of aviators that I ever had. And um, I will say this, I'm not a big Ray-Ban fan anymore, but Ray-Bans stand the test of time. They really, they really do. And then these are the pair that I got Alex. Hold on a second. And they're like the right the wayfarers little story when back in the day on my 16th birthday my dad and my stepmom and i took a trip um down the coast from we flew into san francisco we took the coast through santa barbara and montecito and then into la and so my stepmom wanted to get her hair done one day at this like salon she had heard about so she went and my dad and i went to this mall out there i don't know it's probably some famous mall and we went into um the sunglass store, probably something like Sunglass Hut. And back in the day, this was like risky business and everything, like the the, the Ray-Ban Wayfarers were like super popular. And, and these sunglasses are in my basement somewhere. I don't know where they are, but they're still saved in my basement. And um, so anyway, I will never forget this girl that worked there was so cool. And she was like probably 25. And like, I would have been friends with her if we were in high school. And they were playing um, Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. And it was the first time I ever heard that song. And my dad was like, you can get whatever sunglasses you want, whatever is a special treat for your 16th birthday. And so I picked out these Ray-Ban Wayfarers that were like um, black. And I was like obsessed with these sunglasses. Glasses. Um, the last pair of sunglasses that I have are very, very special to me. My aunt got me a pair of sunglasses. Um, I can't remember for what, but they broke like right away and they were like these Gucci sunglasses. My aunt always like really liked to give nice gifts and she put a lot of thought into it and she had gone there and she had tried out all these different sunglasses for me and she knew that I love sunglasses, and so they broke right away. And so when I told her that, she, go, she asked me, and I said, well, they broke. And she said, please take them back because they will replace them for you. So I took them back, and she said, but if you find something else, just put a little bit of extra money into it because I want you to always remember that these sunglasses are for me because I love you so much. And so I went back, and when I went back, I got a pair of these Chanel sunglasses that I love and I very rarely wear them and you can see they have like the padded case on it and um, the kind of leather that is whatever and they're so comfortable they're like probably my most comfortable pair of sunglasses ever you know and at this point a lot of this stuff to me I don't wear like the key sunglasses are fine I mean I'm good with like a gas station pair of sunglasses in all honesty um, but this stuff to me has a lot of memories and I keep it because of the memories, you know, and as, as we should, I think, you know, as we grow older and people grow older and, um, people leave this planet, it's, you know, not to me, they're not just sunglasses they're memories. It's like, I remember, you know, wearing these sunglasses to certain things and whatever. I, I it was funny, like taking the key sunglasses out because I remember the first time that Alex and I went and stayed at this place in Mexico that we love and um, called Unico and I can remember like sitting there as we were like waiting to like check in and it was the first time that I had ever like worn these key sunglasses, <laughs> you know, and I loved them and it, it made me very happy. And so I have a lot of memories associated with these things, which is stupid because they're just things. It's the memories that ma matter. It's not the sunglasses or any of that, you know, but it's, I wanted to show you guys and do a little bit of a show and tell. So anyway, if you like this, I could show you all kinds of things. I could show you my shoes. I could show you my pants. I could show you whatever. I don't know. Anyway, my t-shirts. Let me know in the comment section below. And I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.